All right, so by now, you should have taken at least a handful of pictures. It's been a couple of weeks. I taught you how to do it. Um, we'll recap here in a sec, but we'll talk about now what to actually take pictures of. So, hit it! <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the Krypton Chronicles where we talk everything between photography, videography, gear, styles, all that stuff. Recap of last week, we talked about how to use your camera. Quick way to get into it, we didn't get anything too crazy. Set it on the automatic mode to start shooting. Today we're going to talk about different themes and subjects of photography, stuff you can start doing. I'll give you a little bit of homework and we'll go from there. So, let's check it out. So for me, and you're gonna hear other photographers classify things differently, it's fine, it is what it is. It's just like everything else, everyone's got their own opinion on stuff. But for me, I classify photography into five groups. You have landscape, which is, you go outside, go into nature, you look at a landscape, you like how it looks, you take a picture of it. You like a sunset, you like the sun setting over a mountain, you like the sunrise, you like all that kind of stuff, all that's landscape. Now little caveat to these categories is some of these categories have subcategories and we'll talk more about those later on in this video but right now I'm just going over what those five categories are. Second category is nature. This is going to be going out taking pictures of wild animals, horses, rabbits, cats, dogs, javelina, whatever it is if it's in nature that's what it is. So when I refer to my nature photography that's what I'm talking about is taking these animal photos. The next one's gonna be portrait. Now this one is gonna be probably the most broad section that I will cover. And I'm gonna have maybe my next video or maybe in two videos, a whole separate dedication to just portrait photography. It's my favorite thing. I feel like it's a good way to connect with people and that's basically what it means is portrait photography is taking pictures of people, portraits, whatever. Under this I include weddings, I include family portraits, I include lifestyle, all that kind of stuff boudoir, I consider all that to fall under portrait photography. So when I refer to portrait, I'll usually define what part of portrait photography I'm talking about. If I don't, it's usually just taking pictures of people. So it's one of my favorite things um, because there's some times where you go out and you see a landscape and it happens to have buildings in it that doesn't make it architectural. That's still the landscape photography. But when the focus is on the architecture of a building, it's talking about the design, it's talking about placement, layout, angles, all that stuff, that's the architectural photography. And uh, I'll, I'll have, still working on a guest. Um, I think he'd be a good choice for it. So hopefully he's on board, hopefully we can make it work because I think he'd have a good perspective on that. And we'll show you some of his work and, and follow him along for a shooting session. So we'll check that out. And then the last one is commercial. It's also a very broad generalization. Well, broad generalization, yeah. It's also broad category commercial. But what I refer to in commercial photography is, doesn't necessarily mean you're getting paid for it, but it is referring to things that belong to a company or a business, branding type stuff that would fall under commercial, automobiles, vehicles, all that kind of stuff, for me falls under commercial photography. Any kind of brand, if I shoot in guns, handguns, pistols, rifles, whatever, that's all gonna fall under commercial photography. So, with that being said, some of these things do have some gray area, they do bleed into each other, because if I'm shooting portrait photography with someone holding a gun, it's mostly gonna be what the purpose of my shoot is. So if my focus is on that person who happens to be holding a gun, then that's portrait photography. If the purpose of the shoot is the gun itself, and it happens to have a person in it holding it, then that's gonna be commercial photography. So those are my five, five categories. We're gonna talk about them more in depth. Again, landscape, nature, portrait, architectural, and commercial. So we'll uh, learn a little bit more about that. All right, so I'm gonna show you some examples of these categories that I was telling you about. The first one that we're gonna talk about is this landscape. This was taken in Kenai, Alaska. I was out there on a fishing trip with my family. And we, you know, coming out of the lake, coming out of the river, 
we drove by and then we saw this this landscape. Now this is landscape to the truest sense. You look at a vast area, big coverage. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's at sunset. It's what we call golden hour. So it starts giving these golden colors, golden hues to things. Mountains are kind of turning gold. It's really bringing colors out. The sky is changing. And ironically, this is like it. 10:30 at night or something crazy like that because that's how Alaska works, you know sunsets that late So this is what a landscape Photo would look like it encompasses mountains. You see some plants trees Hills waters lakes. This is this is a landscape photo. The next one. I'm going to show you is nature This is a moose also in Alaska She's pretty cute I thought so, so I had to take a photograph of her. So this is, you know, wildlife in action. Taking pictures of plants, you know, orchids, all that kind of stuff. If you're out exploring and you see something and you're focusing on one thing out in nature, for me that falls under the nature category. So for me, even though this is a portrait of a moose, uh, this would be nature. This is wildlife in its truest form. This is untouched um, by humans. This isn't domesticated at all. This is a straight, Maggie Moose out there just going to town. So this is nature for me. Next up, portrait. Now, I can give you thousands and thousands of examples of portrait photography, but basically for me, portrait photography is focusing on the human being, focusing on a person capturing emotion or part of a life experience. You know, in this case, it's a pregnancy. So these are maternity photos. So this is a portrait of you know, maternity shoot. Um, focusing on the person, you could even crop this, still focus on the face. In fact, if I wanted to even crop that and just focus on the person, this is all portrait photography is focusing on people. We'll, we'll talk later about cropping and, you know, kind of stylization, stuff like that. But if I were to take this photo, which I like this, kind of giving it space around the person makes the person kind of more important because it's showing you know, them in the center, but you could also make them fill that frame and it still gives the same meaning, it's just different. And so that's what half of it is, is just exploring, seeing what you like, seeing how you like to frame these things. You can even go a little bit more, um, bring in like a three quarters shot here, zoom it in, capture the face more, clean it up. It's really up to you and that's what's fun about photography is each crop is gonna give it a different feel. Crop it even more. Adjust this, adjust the height, turn it into a face, put it right there, zoom in, you have a different photo. So just within all those crops, those edits, it's all portrait photography, gives it a different feel. We'll, we'll uh, kind of undo these and see as it goes. You know, three quarters again, a little more full, and then back to the original photo. You can kind of see how those have different feels, different styles. I like capturing the the brush around the subject here, the model. It, it just kind of gives it a little bit more of a focus, a little bit more of a touch. So portrait photography, I'm gonna talk a lot about it. It's, I feel like it's my strength. It's what I enjoy, it's my interest. See some cool stuff with it. Next one is going to be the architectural here. So again, focusing on buildings, focusing on design. This is an old grain silo um, in Phoenix. And I thought it looked really cool. You know, it's been around for ages. People recognize it. It stands up above the skyline. When you look from downtown towards the west, you're gonna see it freestanding. So I thought it was really cool. Again, focusing on those angles, those shapes, um, focusing on the wear, the patina of the building. So this is very much an architectural style photo. And then the last one is gonna be the commercial. Focusing on, you know, items, cars, brands, products, guns, all that kind of stuff. The focus is the item. In this case, it's a 1967 Chevrolet Corvette. Uh, it had some work done to it. It was customized. If you look in the back, you know you got some Edelbrock nitrous back there. You can see the engine up front, big old scoop going on. The focus of this photo is this Corvette. It's not of the city, it's not of the landscape, it's not of nature, it's not of anything other than the Corvette and this would be considered a commercial photograph. So those are some examples. Like I said, more episodes we go into it, we're gonna talk more about it and go more in depth. I'm gonna have some people come on 
who focus specifically on these types of things. <laughs> And then we'll go from there. I'll talk about portraits. I'll have uh, someone come on. We'll talk about poses. I'll teach you how to pose and we'll go through all that stuff and be, a, be an awesome time. So what I suggest is try and go capture with your camera. This is your homework. This is the homework aspect of it. Please excuse the baby crying in the background. So I want you to capture one landscape photo. I want you to capture one nature photo. No, we're not going to have moose everywhere, but just find something, rabbits, find a cat, use your dog, I don't care. Find a person, have them pose. Um, I, I don't expect you to know how to pose people yet, but just find someone, do candid shots, just try and take a picture of them without them knowing you're taking a picture of them. That all falls under the, the uh, portrait, so try taking a portrait photo, try taking an architectural photo, find something that looks cool, go for a walk, find a house, find a building, take a picture of it, try architectural and then again commercial find something that's around your house if you like you know if you have guns try taking a picture of your gun if you have a bike try taking a picture of your bike if you have something in your garage that you think is cool fishing pole whatever try taking a picture of that car maybe try set it up have that be the focus of your photo put it in the middle of your photograph and take a picture of it experiment with it and see what you like you have this whole world around you where you can decide that something's beautiful and you want to capture it with your photos. Look at this, aloe vera. This would be a cool shot, right there. Or look at the little aloe vera that's growing around it. Take photographs of that. You know, it's it's really up to you. There's no right or wrong, it's just experimenting. You can even get low, take pictures of grass. If you like what grass looks like, it's really up to you. So, that's what I suggest you do. Just take photographs of stuff, like figure it out. Go around, see what you like. I mean, even like this, my neighbor's bougainvillea that's overgrown. It's over there. If I wanted to get close and take a photograph of that, I think it'd be a pretty cool photograph. You get the sun going on behind it. Come up here, focus on that. I mean, that's pretty bomb right there. And who knew it was just right here? Who knew that it's mostly, you know, a pest, a burden, an overgrowing never-ending cleanup session for those bug videos but it looks cool you know so it's just a matter of you getting out seeing what works seeing what you like to look at seeing how the sun reacts with colors with objects shapes shadows all that stuff and that's what's fun about photography so that's your homework get out and do it